Book 32 of 2020 was My Sister the Serial Killer by Ayunkan Braithwaite. So this was a book club read. I uh, would never have read this book. I didn't like the kind of sound of it or the, the cover art of it. It just seemed like something that like I wouldn't be interested in, so I would never have read it. Um, and for that reason, I listened to an audiobook uh, because like if it was bad, I could get through it quicker. Um, I didn't actually think that it was all right. I, you know, I enjoyed listening to it. Um, I wouldn't rave about it and say that it was amazing. You know, it's just a, a mass market, easy read. Um, the audio book's quite good because it is in a Nigerian accent. And so it really makes the characters feel authentic and you know how to pronounce names and things like that. Um, and it gives kind of like a, the book, you know, gives a, a good insight into Nigeria and, and middle class and, you know, kind of gives you an insight into how police are bribed and the kind of police corruption that kind of goes on and, and how even when you're innocent, um, you have to kind of like bribe police so that you don't get incarcerated. Uh, so I thought that that was quite, quite good kind of to give an insight into a different culture. You know, her culture is very different to mine and what my experience of, of my culture is. Um, I like the fact that there was two characters and that they were kind of foil characters so that they allowed kind of a juxtaposition between the two. And I guess you could argue that, uh, so Corrid is the main character and I all like her sister. Um, and they're, they're completely different to each other, uh, completely opposites to each other. One, so Corrid is quite neuro uh, neurotic and quite like controlling and, and likes to have things her kind of way. And Iola is very kind of sociopathic. She doesn't care about anybody else. She doesn't care about anyone's emotions. And it's not like she's unaware. She knows, but she just doesn't care. Um, and she's, she lies a lot and she's quite manipulative. So I like the fact that the two kind of ways that those those characters have developed into, you know, different personalities are kind of like the stereotypical ways that you respond to trauma. You either kind of turn outwards and affect everybody outside yourself or you turn inwards and affect yourself and, you know, be quite destructive to yourself. Um, so I liked, you know, those those two kind of uh, comparisons between the characters. And as well, there was kind of a question as um, a doctor in there called um, Teddy, I think his name is, and he he almost kind of hints at the fact that Corridy is probably worse because she's more cognizant of what she's doing um, than what Iola kind of is because maybe Iola's not, you know, quite like processing her emotions like a, a normal human being does because she's sociopathic. Um, but the fact that Corridy knows that and still kind of goes along and does things like maybe she's the worst for it. So that was quite interesting. Um, I mean, generally, the, the plot itself is quite repetitive because obviously a sister's a serial killer, like you get that from the title of the book and she, you know, she just keeps killing people. And um, and so it's kind of a bit like, oh, she's at it again. Um, it was a little bit kind of weird where, I mean, it's, it's quite like a bad representation of men, I would think, because the the man in it, well, the, the men in it, they only really care about Iola for what she looks like and, and kind of objectify her for you know what she looks like um and they're not really interested in kind of like her personality or anything else and i just kind of thought really like that's a really stereotypical way of referring to men and you know not all men are like that and and so i was a little bit off put by that because it is a bit sexist um and the way that it ended as well is really really underwhelming i was just like oh is that it like so i mean when you're listening to it, the chapters are like really short. So you, each chapter is like, I think two minutes. Um, and so you get through it really, really quick and you want to listen to the next one. And and I think the whole audiobook itself is like four and a half hours. And, you know, I listened to it on like one and a half speed anyway. So I got through it really, really quick. Um, and so for that reason, because it's short, I think I enjoyed it. I think if it went on for much longer, I probably wouldn't have done. But there isn't really kind of a development of the characters, really. They're, they're quite, you know, stereotypical, they're quite you know, two dimensional. Um, so if you if you really like books that are like literary, like well written kind of things, I wouldn't go for this. I mean, not to say that it's not well written because obviously you can't really tell an audio book, but it's a mass market production. It's, you know, it's for the masses. It's, it's an easy read, something that you'll be able to just kind of go along for the ride with, but it's not sort of change you in any way or make, you know, you you learn anything or anything like that apart from maybe an insight into nigerian culture that was that was good i did appreciate that uh, but that's you know obviously that's just a little bit and it's not necessarily representative of the whole of nigeria so 
I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to read but I think there's a lot of people out there that like this kind of stuff and so it probably will be your bag and you'll probably enjoy it um because there's a lot of people that like kind of easy reads and things like that so so if you do then it's for you 